actually uh, one of the most interesting stories that happened recently was in Los Angeles with a Mr. Joe Moshe, M-O-S-H-E, which people can Google and find themselves. On Thursday, he was surrounded by a SWAT team after he had called in last week to Dr. Truat's show on Republic Broadcasting and uh, called in asking if there was a, a state's attorney or someone he could give evidence to because he was apparently a biological scientist with a dual citizenship in Israel. And uh, he had evidence that the uh, Baxter in had a, a Ukraine lab actually uh, not making a vaccine but making a bioweapon that was going to cause a plague when the vaccine was released. Now, of course, True didn't believe him at first, but what happened is immediately after the next day, a SWAT team, literally an army, surrounded his uh, Volkswagen Beetle in West Los Angeles. They hit his car four times with pepper cannons, and then they uh, sent in a robot after they uh, he just sat in the car, and apparently they were surprised that he didn't kind of cough and choke and come out. They sent in a robot to break a back window, and they tasered him and hauled him out through the windows. Apparently, because of his dual citizenship, he got extradited to Israel, and we haven't heard from him since, but uh, it's just one of the many things that are going on right now in terms of what's happening. But we have very good evidence now that HHA Secretary Sebelius is trying to sidestep uh, and get FDA to approve of the use of these squalene adjuvants. Uh, the two different major ones that are quite disturbing are, no, are the Novartis MF59 super squalene adjuvant and the AS03 from GlaxoSmithKline that they want to get approved to put in the vaccines. The what I'd like to do is find out a little bit more about what this uh, this person who you said was was actually um, deported. Yeah, that, we don't know all the details yet, but we uh, it, the more we investigate, the more it has the ring of truth. There are two major news reports out of West Los Angeles that they literally surrounded him with an army. They hit his vehicle with a microwave a EMP pulse machine to actually not only disable the ignition, but also knock out any electronics he had to transmit because they tried to claim in the news article he threatened the president of Obama, and he didn't do anything of the sort. What he did, actually, is he called in and said, I have new information because I'm a biological scientist that they are planning on releasing this, the Baxter vaccine made in the Ukraine that will be shipped to America, and it will, because it's one of the primary contracts, and it's going to contain lethal genes that will cause the death of millions. And uh, he asked uh, Truat on the air if he could get a uh, contact for a state's attorney he was on his way to the Israeli embassy at the time, which was near the FBI offices in Los Angeles, and the uh, FBI surrounded him with literally an army with the active denial system, uh, microwave tank, you know, tanks, uh, robots. You know, they tasered him and everything. I mean, uh, they must have spent quite a bit of money and had deployed a tremendous number of people. You see the pictures there that are in the news articles. So this has the ring of truth. There's something going on here where we have whistleblowers coming out that are basically telling us, hey, they are going to release a, uh, they're not just satisfied with the virus mutating and recombining, either becoming less or more lethal. They want to tweak it along to make sure that it's lethal enough they can declare martial law, which is what the government's pushing for. Because parallel with this, they want to have a bank holiday. They want to revalue the U.S. currency, and they want to switch over to the Amero note sometime in the next 6 to 12 months so that they can form the trade zone of North America. Our understanding is that the Amero is no longer, uh, that's actually defunct, and they're going with another kind of currency. They might. Whatever they're calling the currency they're going to go with, it, they're going to do a tremendous uh, devaluation of the U.S. dollar. What I have for my sources is that they're going to devalue it sometime in one of these ways. It could be this fall or winter, but they're getting ready to do that. Uh, and uh, they want to have the cover, of, of course, of a plague occurring at the same time to quell the population because there's going to be a lot of resistance.